Well deserved. Once you lost, you look for other places, consolation like. I Slightly want... distracted by all the Peppa Pig memorabilia. Yes, yes. Yeah. Well, it's a cheer us up. We should look at the Peppa Pig DVD, really, <laughs> shouldn't we? Now, there's a show. <laughs> Shown in more than 180 countries, its toys are outselling Thomas the Tank Engine. Last year, viewers of the children's television programme Peppa Pig spent a staggering £200 million pounds on merchandise from the show. And it looks like that success is going to grow because it's aired in the United States for the first time next month. What is the show's big secret? We'll get some expert opinion in just a moment. First, in case you're not familiar with it, here's a clip from the program. Whee! Wow! Ooh. It's coming out! It's all nice, cuddly stuff. <laughs> Moena Banks is the voice of Mummy Pig. Olivier Dumont is in charge of the programme's merchandising. Also with us, branding expert and author of How to Build a Brand in 30 Days. Simon Middleton is here. Hello. Hello. Hello to Hello. you all. Hello, Hello Mummy Pig. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> How much I love being called Mummy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> so many people could just go, you're Mummy Pig. I'm, yes, but, you know, I'm actually human as Moena, well. Moena, you're so different in real life well, as well. Well, bless you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> now, what do you put behind the success of Peppa Pig? Well, it's very interesting because I've, I've done a lot of animation and it's very interesting to see the ones that work and the ones that don't work as well. But I think the, the, the thing about Peppa is that it's incredibly truthful. It's very simple. I think the images are beautiful and they're sort of identifiable. And the stories that they tell are incredibly relatable. They are kind of like little family stories. It's an everyday story of... Pigs. pigs. Yeah, yeah, pigs, exactly. Well, snort. Yeah, exactly. Well, free range pigs. I mean, somehow they've managed to make it not about pigs, but, it, but, it's, yes. but I, I do think that, that they're incredibly identifiable for lots of kind of families and, and sort of family units. And, mm. th and that's really, and, and they're, oh, they're properly funny. I think, and they're funny for adults and they're funny for children. So it's got that, although it couldn't be more different from The Simpsons, it's got that appeal, I think, that the parents can sit and watch it, the kids can really enjoy it, and the parents kind of get a kick out of it, because it's sort of, about, it's sort of about us. I sometimes think that they're actually sitting outside my house with a camera just watching what goes so on. So you are Mummy Pig, let's face it, in many ways. Uh, the big thing, of course, is always about merchandising. Peppa Pig, Thomas Tank Engine used to be the big thing for children, and now it seems this has taken it over. In, indeed, 2010 has been an amazing year for, uh, for uh, Peppa Pig, uh, and it's now become the, the number one preschool uh, toy in the UK, which is a fantastic achievement. But it didn't happen overnight. I mean, Peppa Pig started in 2004, and it's been built and built very gradually by a, 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 very, a, a team that's built uh, the, the property in a very controlled manner. I think that's part of the success of, of Peppa Pig today, is that uh, people found it as opposed to it finding people. Does the, uh, so Simon, does the rise and rise of Peppa Pig mean that people like poor old Postman Pat, they're all peas, have you noticed? <laughs> Is he on his way out? Huh? Or is no, I don't think he's on his way out, but I, I think Peppa Pig is a fantastic success and it will kind of muscle its way in. I think Thomas the Tank might have its days numbered because yeah. I mean, after well, it's been around since the early 1940s, I think. Yeah. But Peppa Pig is, does the things that great brands do, which is that, it, as, as Mawena said, it's highly authentic. It, it feels like the real, a real family. It's highly distinctive visually. It's beautifully simple. And it's utterly compelling. I mean, my children are way too old. Now. My children have grown huge, up, but it's, but it's a huge market now. Oh, it's it's vast, yes. And of course, once if you could, but if you can tell a compelling story that gets inside the heads of little children and their parents, and they love it. I love Peppa Pig. Let's watch Peppa Pig. Oh, here comes Peppa Pig. Yeah. Then, of course, the merchandising can go crazy. Well, I can understand the watching it and enjoying it. I suppose it's just that step from watching it and enjoying it, and from from when I was a child. Of course, you couldn't buy the not really. You couldn't no. buy the products of of the programs that you liked. It's that sort of extra. There are so many things you can buy to go along with a television programme. Mm -hmm. you know, is, is that necessarily a, a good thing? Oh, oh, well, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing is a whole other sort of cultural debate, a sociological debate, I suppose. But there is a kind of wonderful positive innocence about Peppa Pig. I think it's, it's very hard to knock. It, it is about family life. Mm -hmm. And if you close your eyes, I was watching it this morning, if you close your eyes, it sounds like an episode of The Archers. In, in, I mean that in a good way. It's very well, English. If, if it was The Archers, which character would Mama Pig be? <laughs> Don't ask me that. <laughs> never listen to The Archers. That's terrible. That's well, terrible. terrible. But I think it's a really interesting point that the two writers, and the, the creators, Neville and Mark, they are very 
authentic people and, and quite innocent in the work that they do. And I've worked with them before on a series called Big Nights, and they, did, they used to make these beautiful films. One was Oscar nominated called Jolly Roger. Mm. It would take them years to make, and they were very pure and very beautiful. And they've managed, because they really remain the main writers, they don't have a huge team, only two or three other people. They, they've managed to kind of continue their vision, which is very pure and very simple and really authentic. How important now, then, is, is merchandise? How tied in is it with the original product from day one? Is it, is it the fact you create programs now and off the bat you're thinking about how you're going to sell it? To well, children. we work very closely with the team. It's a very tightly produced program mm -hmm. and, the t and the team on our, on our side is also very tight and we work very closely together. And to give an example, uh, there's uh, Paulton's Theme Park, which is opening an entire section dedicated to Peppa Pig this Easter. Uh, called Peppa Pig World, which is a fantastic uh, 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 <laughs> thing uh, this year. And the way we worked very closely with um, with the team at Ashley Baker and Davis. It should be the planet of Peppa Pig. The, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Peppa Pig <laughs> planet is the next step the in next the step. US oh, when yes. it debuts next month. Well, that's the next step. Well, in Florida soon. 200 million pounds spent. Hmm. I'm really keeping my fingers crossed that you get some royalties. I for sadly that don't. <laughs> None at all. I just walk in, do the voice, that's it. Just walk a out. For you. You've, yeah. you've created part of the legend. Is Bless you, but more you of should that. get yeah. a bit more back from it. Well, the first, the first time I ever did it, we, we, they did, um, oh, actually, you know, they never thought, I don't think Mark and Neville, it would ever take off in the way it did. And it was, it was sort of the final, their final shot at trying to sell a show and they mm -hmm. showed me this and said do you mind doing the voice and when we did the first series I did 52 episodes in one day because I didn't realize that I didn't have to so <laughs> it was kind of, it's got better since then but yeah. no they they're fantastic people well, congratulations on about to become a global brand when you <laughs> take over America you'll be mummy pig forever yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is, mommy, mommy is that a good thing yeah, mommy pig. absolutely thank you thank, thank, you, thank you very much, much. Thank, thank you, you. Olivia. thank and you Peppa Pig, <laughs> Peppa pig is uh, every weekday on channel 5 what time is it on it's at 8.10, 8.25, and I think at 6.50 on uh, Milkshake, and also airs on, on Nick Jr. <laughs> yeah. Good, enough so already. Yeah. 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 Enough, yeah. enough. If it's on 8.10, nobody's yes, going to yeah. <laughs> Here's Carol with a look at the morning's weather. Morning, Carol. Good